welcome to Craft Little Things, I'm Andrea um, and today it's all about crochet um, and I'm going to just be showing you my second box from the Crochet Society so if you don't want to see what's in here, if you want to get one yourself or you're waiting for one you don't want to see what's in here, don't watch um, this is box two and it's really lovely and again it's, let me just zoom out a little bit again it's got lovely rose gold foiling on it, it's a lovely box with a velcro opening and um, it's got a nice sort of um, very Bella Coco colours in there um, this is a box, the crochet set is a box create, cur curated by Bella Coco so you get your little, um, and if you don't know she's a crochet um, YouTuber and blogger. Um, I don't know so much that she designs a lot of crochet, but she definitely does tutorials and shows people how to crochet. I think she learned to crochet from online tutorials herself and then started doing them herself. Um, and she also has like lifestyle blog and things now, um, and a lifestyle YouTube as well. Um, so in the book there are the books usually underneath. I have opened this already. There's the patterns and something about the designers for this series and yeah it's lovely. I have seen a few people, um, can't please everybody, let's just say that and I'm sure we all realise that when we're doing tutorials and things like that. Um, but I have heard that there isn't enough yarn to finish this basket. Um, but evidently if you do, if you use a slightly smaller hook or you use a tighter tension, there it is. So you're just like a tiny bit short if you're loose stitcher or you use the hook that's recommended. So, um, yeah, so there's some nice little patterns in there. Very Bella Crochet, Sarah Jane inspired. Then as usual, we've got the um, Little Crochet Society sticker on our gorgeous tissue this is one that this is a real uh, Bella Coco colour if you, if you follow her she loves these sort of um, aquas and peaches and pink her wedding was very peachy and pinky and um, yeah she's very soft soft subtle shades um, in fact if you haven't seen her wedding vlogs and stuff go and watch them because she had two weddings one in Ibiza and one in the UK and oh my goodness she did lots of stuff herself as well. There was lots of, and on her blog, she had um, a homemade weddings um, series where she had guest bloggers talk about things they've done for their homemade weddings, and it was fantastic. So if you are getting married or thinking of doing a homemade wedding at any point, go and check it out. So anyway, in here again, we've got the stuff in, so we know we're going to be making a little animal, and from the book, we already know that that's those little octopuses. And you know, I've seen recently that there was an appeal to make um, things like this because evidently they're really good for um, little babies and incubators and things to play with. It, it's very soothing to them. Um, so yeah, it's handy to know how to make those if you want to join in with that appeal. So there's some nice, um, nice quality stuff in there. And then we've got a lovely yarn needle which my daughter was laughing at me because I was so blown away by it. It's in this little box and it's, it's stuck into a little aqua coloured pom pom and it's a rose gold yarn and needles. It's absolutely gorgeous, really cute. I mean, I love stuff like this so this is all right up my street. And just this attention to detail, you know, sticking it in the little pom pom and having the little box made. It's just so cute rather than just stick it in a plastic bag. Um, and that's what I like about this box, you're getting that attention to detail. Shush! My dogs are playing under my feet. Um, then we get another one of the hooks. Last time I think we got, a, I can't remember if it was a 3mm we got last time, but this is a 5mm hook this time. Really lovely, easy to use, rose gold shaft, really lovely um, little gift. And then we have the yarn, which is Karen and Pantone coming together to create this little, um, I don't know what you call these, but they are um, five little balls of wool that have just all been linked together really cleverly, cleverly and they um, complement each other. It's 
a little sort of ombre effect and that's the wool, the yarn you'll need to make your um, projects in the book um, so they're in they're the different shades so if you wanted to go and buy more you could go and buy more of one specific colour or of each of them it's really lovely and soft um, there's 100 grams in total uh, it's a bulky weight um, and it recommends a 6mm hook and it's acrylic mixed with nylon and merino wool that makes it nice and soft also very durable and great for clothes easy to wash also we've got another little Bella Coco stitch marker this theme of this box is sort of seaside so we've got a little shell which is so cute the stitch markers are great um, another little bat pin badge uh, which I'll put on my crochet bag which is crochet all day and rose gold again and another little card with hook crochet terms and hook conversions there which is always handy to have the little confetti which is blues this time with the little peach one and then we've got a stitch guide hook mark hook um, measure really useful little safety eyes for our little octopus and then in the bottom we've got um, how to subscribe it's $14.99 a month I think if you pay for a year in advance it's $19.99 if you pay monthly and then there's just a little um, promo leaflet there for ready cut ready cut yarns where you can buy more of the ones that are in the box so yeah I'm really enjoying that I'm looking forward to having a go at the project I'm on holiday for next week so I'm going to take my boxes with me this is something I thought was handy about the boxes that you can just pop them in your bag take them with you and um, work on the project away from home that's what i'm going to be doing i haven't done a project in the first box yet hi you've just... found a new i'm home routine oh my google's decided it's gonna get involved in the conversation um so yeah um so yeah i'm pleased with that i know there's, there, there has been some um negativity i've seen on um facebook group uh, for crochet society um, about deliveries and confusion with orders and things like that. I mean, I was confused myself because I'd had the first box and I wasn't sure whether I was subscribed or not. I wasn't sure whether I had to just keep buying a box every month or whether I'd automatically get a box. But what happened was I was subscribed and they took my payment and the box came. I didn't have to do anything. Um, and it was a little bit longer because there was a gap between box one and two just to iron out any difficulties. I think one of those difficulties was that people overseas were getting their boxes much later and so the, the spoilers, you couldn't make people stay quiet about what was in the box for weeks. Um, so I think they sent out the boxes overseas a little bit earlier so that there'd be less of a delay between people say in Australia and US receiving their box as compared to people in the UK. But those things can't be helped and I think they've fielded some of those problems very well some people have got very frustrated with the lack of response from customer services um, but in some cases it looks like people haven't gone through the right channel to get to the right person to speak to um, there's only so much the, the moderators and admin on the um, Facebook groups can do um, and it looks to me like they have been giving out good contact information but you know there's always I remember when Big and Little Crochet came out there was lots and lots of teething problems with it and it's just people getting used to the things and what, the way they work and, and getting into the swing of things and you know it all ends up running smoothly in the end if you stick with it then you carry on enjoying what you're getting if you decide to bail out then you miss out so that's uh, entirely your choice isn't it so yeah, so I'm really pleased, I'm glad I took them out, so I'm looking forward to box three, and I'm looking forward to having some time to crack on with box two and box one. So yeah, they're lovely. There was a lot of people who said their boxes were damaged. Mine wasn't damaged when I got it, 
unfortunately somebody or something one of my dogs or something has um, managed to get a couple of holes in my box and I'm not sure how but it wasn't like that when it arrived so I'm not too pleased about that the other thing I wanted to just oh I forgot to put my I'll just put my darning needle back in because otherwise knowing me it'll never find its way back in uh, the other thing I wanted to just um, talk about was um, oops was Crochet Now magazine now I did grab Crochet Now magazine this week um, this month um, it's 5 99 in the UK um, and I did get it because it had some it had a Bella Coco crochet a Bella Coco crochet hook and markers on it and I don't know if we'll get these in our boxes or we've had these in our boxes but I just thought it'd be nice to to have them just in case and it's nice to have some extras some freebies so yeah you get a lovely four millimeter hook with the same handle and you get two stitch markers the yarn ball which I think we got in the first box and the little crochet square um, and then the magazine itself, I was quite impressed with it. I used to get, um, I think it was Simply Crochet Magazine, I can't remember, but I, I wasn't very chuffed with it and I stopped getting it. I was a subscriber and I stopped, stopped subscribing because I wasn't that pleased with it. Um, and so I had a little look through here, I flicked through and I thought, yeah, that looks nice, that I'll buy it. Um, and there's just some lovely stuff in here. Um, there's lots of adverts as usual for yarns and yarn companies and stuff but um, yeah there's some really nice um, columns Bella Coco has a col column in here now so that was quite interesting to read um, there's patterns for things like for cushion um, little long Riviera blanket and the sort of theme goes along with the Crochet Society box this month I love that massive chunky super chunky cushion that's really nice um yeah so there's lots of little set of pirate toys a couple of little wraps which is nice to have this time of year um in the evening when it cools down a bit it's a lovely cropped cardigan there lovely oh you can find some gorgeous um hooks and things that you didn't know existed um yeah, so I quite like this. Dennis and Madison Nasher. <laughs> it's Bella um, column. So Bella Coco's column. So quite a packed form magazine actually. Lots and lots of things in it. Um, and then at the back, lots of um, general tips on how to do certain stitches, all your basic stitches, um, how to cast on, do you change stitch, how to work in rows and turn and things like that. So it's really, really useful. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend that. I think it's um, quite a nice magazine. I am going to write to this magazine um, and tell them about the Ben's Beanies project. Those of you who were around last year will know that we ran a really successful campaign last year to make beanies for the homeless that kind of grew and grew and grew. And it's by popular demand, it's coming back this year. Um, and this year it's to not only help those same causes that we helped last year but we're going a step further and we're trying to raise some money for the British Liver Trust and for Cardiff City Hospice so um, we're going to be doing lots and lots of things locally in Cardiff and online to raise money um, but also you know we're asking people to make beaners so if you want to find out more I will do a specific video on the project when it launches but if you want to find out more and get involved early then I'll put a link to the Facebook group it's just Ben's Beanies um, and I'm also doing a card making challenge this year as well which you can also find details about on Ben's Beanies Facebook group so if you want to join in with those you're more than welcome so thanks for joining me I am going to be doing some crochet while I'm away so do expect a few projects to appear sooner or later on the channel I've it's just been so hot and I've been so busy um working and settling into my new life and spending time with my family getting the Ben's Beanies project off the ground I just haven't had 
five minutes to to sit and and put videos together but i will be i will be doing that very soon okay so take care and i'll speak to you soon